One other thing about Git clone, uh, something that I, I do get asked frequently from beginners is, do I have permission to clone this stuff? Um, the answer is yes. If you see it on GitHub, if you actually can see it, you have permission to clone it and do whatever you want with it uh, in terms of tweaking the code. And that doesn't mean you can turn around and, you know, resell it necessarily, depending on how it's licensed. But you definitely are able to clone that repository to your machine. So anybody can clone uh, if it's a public repository. And if it was private, you wouldn't be able to see it anyways. You wouldn't, right? You wouldn't know the URL. You wouldn't be able to go to it on GitHub. But if you can see it on GitHub, copy that URL, you can clone it. You don't need to be an owner or a contributor. However, you're not allowed to just push up your own changes. We haven't talked about pushing, uh, but once we get there, you can't just push changes up to a repository that somebody else owns. There's a whole workflow for suggesting changes for becoming a contributor, but you can't just take over someone's repository, clone it, delete everything, and then push that up to GitHub. So that's very, very important to understand. Uh, if you see the repo on GitHub, you can clone it. Now, everything I've said has been cloning or everything I've demonstrated has been using Git clone with GitHub repositories because GitHub is so popular. It's the standard place to host Git repositories. But remember that Git clone works with any hosted repository. In fact, if you go to the documentation, the Git docs for Git clone, there is no mention of GitHub anywhere on here. So even if that's where a lot of people are using it is to clone GitHub repos, that's just how people are using it. That is not the nature of the command. Instead, it works with any hosted repository, whether that's something that you're serving yourself, like maybe a company has their own internal server uh, with a hosted repo, or maybe we're using something like GitLab. So I actually struggled to find uh, something that was public that we could clone that was not from GitHub. But here's an example. This is a project on GitLab. It's just called Sample Project. It's really just for demonstrating how to clone something on GitLab. So I, you don't need to go through and, and follow along with this, uh, but if you want to, I'll include the link. I'm just gonna copy the URL, and then I'm gonna go to my terminal, if I can find it, over here. I'm gonna make sure I'm not in a repository. So I am, back out, now I'm not. And I run git clone, and this time it's not a GitHub URL, right? This is entirely different. And it looks like it worked. I have a new folder called sample project. This is not exciting on the inside, but you can see I'm in a Git repo. I'm on the master branch right now. Git status, here's Git log. There's four or so commits in there. All right, so just proof that Git clone is not tied to GitHub. It's just a native Git command. Most of the, the usage you'll see online is with GitHub, but it will clone any hosted repo.